You know what? People are still building PCs regardless of the GPU shortage. I just built one recently with my brother and we're going to answer the question, should you build a PC now yourself? Let's get into the video. Hey guys, so today's video is sponsored by CDK Deals, genuine CD keys, not only for software like Windows 10, and we also have a coupon code where you're going to be able to get this for under $20. What you first want to do is go and sign up for an account just to make sure all of your information is in there. You can go and search for, it's going to be the Windows 10 Pro, it's OEM, very easy process, you add it to your cart, and you're going to see that you're going to have the option to put a coupon code, you're going to put in CC20. That's my coupon code and you're going to get 20% off and then you just go through the regular checkout process. Basically, you just have to go in Windows. I'm going to show you how to do this now. You enter the CD key in there and you'll see it's going to work without any issue. And for the price that you're paying, I really think it's a fantastic deal to get a real genuine smooth working copies of Windows 10. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. So let's get right into it. Should you build a PC now? Even though the shortages have been terrible, we know that whole story. It's pretty, pretty crappy. It doesn't mean that people just lost the will to build computers. Now, I understand that, of course, the attention span is going to be down for PC hardware, because what's the point of watching the GPU review if you can't get it yourself, or if it's outrageously expensive? Not to mention that, all right, don't tell everybody this but the games out there kind of suck none of them are really very graphically intensive hopefully this fall with the release of the new battlefield games that's going to be a lot better but right now the games kind of suck they really do. It's like even Cyberpunk was supposed to be this massive game historically. It was supposed to be like The Witcher 3 or some type of massive impact game with really sick graphics that would make you want to go out, wait in line at Best Buy for 15 days or whatever people are doing now. The attention span of gamers to Cyberpunk, which was really the most epic game of the last year, or at least supposed to be, pretty much disappeared. So even if the game was fun, I had some fun playing the game. I'm not going to say that it was an absolutely terrible game. I had fun playing through it. Some of the graphics were definitely amazing, but the experience of the PC gaming community as a whole really did not like this game. And you can tell from the numbers being really far down for this particular game if you look at any stats of users playing it. So having all that aside, if you want to build a PC now, should you? Well, I think it still is actually an okay time to build a PC. Here's why. Recently, I have some experience with my brother. He built a PC. Let's get to the first difficult component everything else is easy the GPU now if you're a gamer it's really not as bad as it was before to get a GPU right now the price of crypto and ethereum was really high but it seems like the last few days it's been dipping often that's gonna translate into more availability out on the market because people aren't buying these GPUs as investments when the prices are tanking they generally will buy them when the prices are going up really high which it was recently but something else in the mix that has really changed the landscapes of GPUs that's going to be the light hash rate GPUs from NVIDIA. Now, AMD GPUs have been sort of in abundant availability in some places because of their very high prices. If we take a look at some of the third-party AIB 6900, 6800 XTs, they are outrageously expensive, often over $2,000. That's why nobody's buying them. They're pretty much like a light hash rate without having to do anything with the hardware because they're so expensive and they don't really even have that great performance in terms of mining. They're great gaming GPUs. This generation, but for the price, people have definitely avoided them. So we get to the NVIDIA GPUs that are light hash rate. When my brother was looking for a GPU, he got the 3080 Ti. And when he was shopping around for this particular GPU, pretty much the other ones that he saw, aside from the AMD GPUs that were a little expensive, were 3070 Ti's and 3090's. Now the 3090's would sell out faster than the 3080 Ti or even the 3070 Ti because it still has its full ca capabilities. It's not going to be light hash rate. So those people that were buying it for crypto mining were still happily buying that GPU, even that sort of inflated MSRP prices of over $2,200. So 3080 Ti EVGA, $1499, he got it at Micro Center. I know not everybody has this store near them, but recently Newegg has had certain GPUs, like a 6700 XT comes up a lot. The 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti do come up a lot. Now, are they expensive and much more than we really wanted to pay? 
Yes, but they are available, and precisely the reason they're more abundantly available than other GPUs, even though they're higher priced, is because the crypto attention towards them really isn't that great. Now, if they start to really crack um, Ethereum with the light hash rate and make that be, you know, 75%, 80%, 85%, then you're going to see those GPUs disappear, and then the market is really going to be terrible. So that's going to depend on how much they want to actually unleash the performance of those light hash rate GPUs. And by them, I'm talking about sort of the mining companies and the, the people that are doing software to try to get around NVIDIA's workarounds. At least the LHR GPUs do seem to be a little bit more effective at curbing the mining capability compared, of course, to the original 3060, which really wasn't that good. A beta driver pretty much made it full capabilities. And if they can do this and unlock it, then the gaming market surely will be in even more trouble than it is now, because if crypto stays up, everybody's going to want to buy these light hash rate GPUs, right? now they're definitely the saving grade. So these are the GPUs you'll most likely end up with. One of the AMD offerings like a 6700 XT, maybe a 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti. Is it ideal? No. Is it optimal? No. But they're still great gaming GPUs. It also takes up a lot of power. It still is a great performing GPU, which is pretty much like the 3090 in terms of gaming. Now, all the other components are actually very easy. You still have Ryzen 5000 for the higher end as the preferred, you know, gaming sort of desktop CPU. Now, do keep in mind that Intel is going to be releasing their 12th generation Outer Lake very, very soon, perhaps as soon as November. But even though that's still a few months away, we may have some really interesting offerings from Intel. So I don't think I would invest in any Intel platform right now, especially the 11th generation, which was a little bit lukewarm, especially the 11900K, not really a very good CPU, especially for the price. Now, if you're going to be more on the budget, then it's okay. Intel's offerings have a a lot more budget friendly options right now than sometimes AMD does but higher end I still go with AMD and if you want to be in the entry level Intel has some great choices as well but it may change around November if Intel's newly released chips prove to come at a really nice price point as well as perform really really well but we're not going to know that in the meantime but we're still not going to know that for a few months so as of right now I think it's okay if you buy a Ryzen 5000 or something like that as we're still months away from any type of update and then aside from that everything else seems to be in pretty abundant supply including all of the cases even power supply seem to be okay you may have some trouble finding really high end sort of high wattage power supplies because some of the miners have taken those over but most of the market seems to be decent at least even some prices have gone up some case prices have gone up as well but really the main focal point here is a gpu if you can get a gpu i don't think most people would care if they're playing with their open motherboard on top of a you know a cardboard and not getting the case or anything like that as the gpu is the vital component so aside from the gpu everything else is pretty abundantly available so then i say sure build the pc now gpus are hard to get but they are attainable more than at some points in the past and it looks like in the future nvidia is going to have even more manufacturing delays all of 2022 most likely the different semiconductor manufacturers are increasing their price next year so most likely it's only going to get worse it's not like if you wait a few months gpus are going to be cheap and abundantly available most likely they're going to be more expensive and maybe even harder to find. So that's why I say build a PC now. We see some GPUs out on the market. You can search online and often find one a lot of times, a lot easier than you could a few months ago. And we don't know what the future is going to be. So if you need to build a PC now, I think it's fine. My brother did and he's absolutely loving it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe if you like content like this. Smash that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video.